What up and welcome back to... Dang it. That was, I was barely doing it that time. I was actually stretching on it. Mm-hmm. My mouth. Mm-hmm. I got it right now. I'll look at you all the time. What up and welcome back to Born Reviews. Nick here. Jody there. And today we're reacting to... <laughs> what Nikolai? so we're checking out someone new to our channel we appreciate we love being introduced to different people to react to it always is fun we're checking out joyce greenfell or grenfell greenfell maybe it's pronounced greenfell who knows and this is someone i've never heard of before but again we love being introduced to new people that she's been passed away since 1979 for crying out loud it says right here she was an english dice dice use I never knew what that thing was, but as someone that tells stories and whatnot, she also was in many, many films. And this particular video is called Nursery School. It's supposed to be something very entertaining, maybe somewhat funny, this or that. And obviously very popular as, you know, people are requesting it. It's got several hundred thousand views. So anyways, we're excited to check this out. That was way more than they needed to know. Yeah. I apologize. You should. I actually kind of blame you. Well, it's okay. You should have stopped me. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded video. I do love the black and white picture. I know. A little Mary Poppins hat in the other video Aww. called Lumpy Latimer. If you want to check out more from her, please let us know. It looks like there's a plethora for us to check, or maybe just a few. I love the word plethora. For people that don't know, plethora means a very chunky pudding. Here we go. Children! Now, come along. We're going to do our nice moving to music this morning. So let's make a lovely fairy ring, shall we? And then we'll all be flowers growing in the grass. Now, let's make a big circle. Spread out. Wider. Wider. Just fingertips touching. That's it. Sue, let go of Neville. Well, because flowers don't hold hands. They just <laughs> touch fingertips. Sue, let go of Neville. And Sue, we don't want grumblers in our fairy ring, do we? We only want smilers. Yes, David, you're a smiler. Yes, Lavinia, you are. And Peggy, yes, you're all smilers. Now, quiet, please. Don't get so excited. Now, quiet. As teachers, Sue's yes. Be a smiler in a minute, aren't you, Sue? That's better. This makes sense. George, don't do that. <laughs> now then, let's all put on our thinking caps, and we'll think what flower we're going to choose to be. Are you ready? Lavinia, a bluebell. Good. Peggy, a red rose. That's nice. Neville, a wild rose. Well done, Neville. Sydney, Sydney, pay attention, please, and don't pummel Rosemary. What flower are you going to choose to be? <laughs> a horse isn't a flower, Sydney. No, children, that isn't funny. It's very silly. And if Sydney can't think of a better flower than that, I think we'll go on to somebody else until he can. Now then, yep. Sue, what about Use you? Use that one. Another rose. Oh, I've got a lovely bunch of roses, haven't I? Peggy's a red one, and Neville is a wild one, and I expect you're a beautiful white one, aren't you? Oh, you're another red one. All right. Now then, Sydney. A carrot isn't a flower, Sydney. Now think, dear, and don't blow like that. How about being a tulip? Well, a holly leaf isn't a flower, Sydney. All right, you be a holly leaf. Now then, children, <laughs> listen right, very fine. carefully. Elvis, stop bouncing. No, bouncing isn't dancing. Elvis, don't argue, dear. Now, you watch the others and you'll see. Is that little... Now, when Reference Miss Boating plays her music, I want us all to get up onto our tipmost toes, light as feathers, and dance away all over the room wherever the music takes us. And remember, we're lovely flowers growing in the grass. Everybody ready? Oh, just a minute, Miss Boating. Sydney, Sydney, come here, please. <laughs> what have you got in your mouth? I can't hear a word you're saying, Sydney, so go out of the room and spit it out, whatever it is, and then come back and tell me what it was. And Sydney, both feet, don't hop. Now, it's funny. We're, we're both teachers. She's taught elementary school. Now she's middle school. I'm elementary school. And so this kind of stuff is just hilarious because you would think the most simplest task. It's the most simplest task, but it's not so simple. I mean, there's always, and it's not just one sometimes, but usually there's always got to be one. So when you're planning, I got a fun activity. And you're like, oh, maybe so-and-so will be absent so I can actually do the activity. Because I know it's going to be this or that. And before you get to it, you're already kind of grumpy. At least I am, because you're expecting what's going to go wrong. Well, not just that, but like, it's this, this, like starting things out. You've got to, you've got to plan like five, ten minutes just to get everybody focused. And that's so annoying. Yes. You're like, and... I love when she's like, don't do that. And I'm always like, sometimes I'm walking up to kids. I'm like, you need to go sanitize. Like you need to go wash your hands. Why are we doing this? What, 
what is happening right here? Like, sometimes I'm like, what in the world? Can y'all just sit down and be quiet? I would be so tempted for the kid that keeps messing up. Like, pretend to, like, shear them. Like, hey, you're a dead flower. You can't talk. You can't move. Go back to your seat. But I love that she suggested <laughs> tulips. That's my favorite flower. Yep, she loves them. But the holly leaf was the one. My favorite flower is the kind in bread. It's delicious. <laughs> Now then, we're not going to wait for a silly little boy who puts things in his mouth like a baby. We're going to be lovely flowers growing in the grass. And the sun is shining baby. down on us to make us grow tall. And Geoffrey, stand up, dear. Flowers don't look backwards through their legs, do they? What flower are you? <laughs> a fat daisy, are you? <laughs> well, that's nice. Now, Hazel, what do we do with our heads? We hold them up. I should think so. Come in, Sydney. Come in. There's no need to knock the door down like that, is there? Now, what did you have in your mouth? It can't have been nothing, Sydney, because I distinctly saw something. Yes, I know it's nothing now, but what was it then? <laughs> A big button. Well, I'm very glad you spat it out, aren't you? My favorite thing is when students are chewing gum. I'm like, what are you chewing? Oh. My tongue. Nobody sits there. And so home. Some st I have so many My students. cheek. I have so many. So as a teacher, you got to choose which battles you're going to fight, just like a parent. And I've had I literally about five times this year where I'm like, I, I saw you chewing something. Please open your mouth and show me. And they have nothing there. And they had no time to swallow gum or anything. Like they Underneath their tongue? I'm not going to tell them. But the, oh, they, I would they weren't never, chewing later on. They always tell Half me, the time it's been paper. Like kids like to chew on ew. paper now. My, my students are usually chewing gum, but sometimes they'll be like, look, nothing. They open their mouth. I'm like, I don't want to see. Like, I legit do not want to see. I give you props for saying, show me. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm determined. You A are. big button. Well, I'm very glad you spat it out, aren't you? I want you. No. You didn't? Oh. Well, do you feel all right, Sydney? Well, get back into your place then. <laughs> Where did you get the button from? <laughs> His shirt. Off Rosemary's pink frock. I'm ashamed of you, Sydney. A big boy of four to go around eating buttons off little girls' frocks. I thought Sydney was a girl. Until what then. flower are you going to be? I've quite forgotten. You better be a hollyhock. Sydney, you cannot be a super jet. And if you're going to be a cross patch, you better go and sit down over there until you're a nice boy again. And you'd better be thinking what flower you're going to be. And then you can go on. Go and sit there. And then you. George! Now then, children, we're ready. Now listen carefully to the music and then dance like a flower. And we're ready at last. No, I am so bad. sorry. One, two, off we go. Dance, Neville. Don't just stand there. Hazel, dear, use your arms. Don't forget to breathe, flower. Peggy. Breathe, dear. George, rhythm. Yes, you can. Cheer up. You're a happy flower. Yes, you are. Because I say so. <laughs> oh, good, Sydney. I knew you'd think of something you'd like to be. All right, you shall be a cauliflower. Only be it gently. <laughs> Close enough. Now, luckily, oh, that's the end. I was like, what's coming up next? That was fun. That was. Luckily, it was just nursery school because you have, again, you have things that whatever grade level you teach, maybe, hopefully not high school, but who knows? They're probably just so uninteresting and to worry about the fighting with them. But you have these different activities or lessons that you have planned that you're fighting with them. And I know it's only a four minute video, but it seems like longer, like 10, 15 minutes you're fighting with them. You think to yourself, why am I even doing this? I know. Just open up your books and read the next chapter. For like, why do I even try? And of course, we're talking about like, you know, some of the unfun parts. There's a lot of great parts about my job, obviously. So I still love teaching. But this stuff is what drives, drives you crazy. Like, you're talking to people at the teacher's lounge. Like, you would have no idea how long it took me to get this activity started. And then if you're in the same grade level, they have the same activity. Oh, yeah, we had the same problem. Yep. Mine was 25 minutes. And then you're like, okay, thank goodness, not just me. And then when somebody says, oh, I never have that problem. Liar. <laughs> Please. You know, you're like, mm, must be nice to be mm. here. And there are teachers like that too. And it's just like, okay, you know, we everything's can all, perfect. We all know your scores. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. But uh, that was a lot of fun. It's always, again, it's, I enjoy checking out different things that we're not used to and we don't usually react to. If you have more, please let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.